Nicely sized burrito. Today we're not doing keto. So good. All right, what's up? It's lunchtime. Today we're not doing keto because I had the chance to go to my favorite burrito truck, Lulu and Beto. Not that Beto. I just went to the burrito truck, brought it back to the house, and we're gonna eat it right now. As you can see, it's a nicely sized burrito, authentic from a burrito truck. So, without further ado, Lulu and Beto's Supreme Beef Burrito. So, Supreme, it's got sour cream, cheese, and other stuff to make it supreme. Yeah, so this is definitely my favorite Mexican food truck here in the Stockton, California area. I haven't had lunch, I had a light breakfast. So, without further ado, oh, look at this. Nicely sized burrito. Pretty heavy, I'm gonna gain some weight here, but it's okay. Gonna jog afterwards, or bike. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's good. So you see it's got the seasoned beef, it's got the cilantro, sour cream, cheese and beans, and um, their rice is definitely like lime seasoned. Look at those innards right there, oh so good, so rich. There's so many burrito trucks here in the Stockton area. Some of them suck. Home Depot off of Hammer Lane, the burrito truck there, don't go to it. It's got a modern-ish truck and it looks really nice. Nine dollars for their burrito, uh, Lulu and Beto's uh, Burrito, it's uh, ten dollars. It used to be nine. It's ten dollars, but it's well worth it. Whereas the other truck, it was terrible. Let's go ahead. Oh yeah. The biggest problem I had with that burrito, the one from uh, Home Depot, and with many other burritos is the balance, like that burrito was way too heavy on beans and rice. It was so dry, it just was not a good burrito. Only some bites of that burrito were, were, were decent. This burrito, almost every bite is like perfect. The way they layer it is perfect. The balance of the burrito layers is very important because if you don't get that balance right, first few bites, all meat. Second few bites, all cheese, sour cream, beans, rice, terrible. So good, so good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The rice is super moist, super flavorful. Uh, whereas the other burrito trucks, the rice is dry. Nothing's fallen off of this burrito yet. When I'm eating other burritos, the beans are falling out, the rice is falling out. This one, nothing's falling out because it's nice and moist. But at the same time, it's not drowning in the oil. It's not drowning in liquid. Mm. Nothing falling out. Mm -hmm. So perfect. So where is Lulu and Beto's located? Um, here in Stockton, we have a Kaiser Permanente uh, Medical Offices. There's two buildings in, um, in Stockton for Kaiser. You have the main one, and then you have the secondary building. It's uh, in the parking lot, or yeah, it's in the parking lot of the secondary building, um, right by the donut shop across the street from the DD's and the 99 cent store. If you're looking for a great burrito here in Stockton, I definitely recommend, and frankly, I only recommend uh, Lulu and Beto's burrito truck. There's another place in Lodi, it's actually in one of our previous videos, I believe it's the thrifting vlog that we ate it, it's called La Campana. That's another good place too, La Campana. But to be brutally honest, Lulu and Beto's makes La Campana, it doesn't look, it doesn't compare it at all to this burrito. I'm not saying a lot, because for the longest time that was definitely my go-to burrito spot. The layers are so perfect. Like every bite of this burrito so far has had perfect blend of beef, rice, beans, cheese, and sour cream, cilantro. Like I said, they got the whole layering 
perfect. Other burrito trucks, I gotta like season it with salt or lime. This one, I don't need any of that. Ooh, we're getting towards the end, getting sad now. All right, we're here at the end. Look at that. Like, so moist and juicy, but it's not, it's not like falling down my hand. My hand is, for the most part, clean. Actually, no, there's no oil on my hand. So, they got this thing down. bites or one bite? Make it last longer. One more. Mm -hmm. Truly the last bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, so good. And as you see here, that whole burrito, only one thing fell off. One, one bean piece right here. That was it. Super solid burrito from uh, Lulu and Beto's uh, burrito truck. Super solidly put together, super solidly layered. It's just a super solid burrito. It's the best burrito in the area. No other place that I prefer to go. There's other places that I would accept, but for my money, Lulu and Beto's, that's the only burrito truck that's really worth going to here. I wish I had another one, to be honest. It was that good. Yeah, yeah I I'm pretty full too, but I could eat another one. Probably eat half of another one. Oh, so good. I just wanted to share the wealth of uh, Lulu and Beto's burrito truck. Because if you like burritos, you gotta go try it out. Lulu and Beto's um, burrito truck, or that, that, that's their sign, that's the truck off. Oh, it's worth it. All right, and with that, catch you all on the flip.